A major announcement today as Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, gets billions of dollars to expand. And the company says that that will mean thousands of jobs. 12 News journalist William Pitts explains how those jobs will be filled and who's training those workers. This giant chip factory <laughs> is about to get even bigger. Thanks to a $6 billion investment, TSMC will build a third microchip fabrication unit. That's 6,000 jobs on the way and $50 million to help develop the workforce. It's almost like being um, on a rocket ship or in outer space, the level of complexity, the level of sophistication of these tools. So the training is how do we use them? How do they work? How do we optimize them? Arizona State University's engineering school teaches students to do that. They even have their own micro fabrication unit. We will put you on that path. We have a partnership already with TSMC. Students studying that is not yet having achieved their engineering degrees will have internships, other ways to work with TSMC towards getting that degree and hopefully then that position with them. That $50 million is not handed out yet. As of now, we don't even know where it will go or to what. But local colleges and universities want their students to benefit from it. This community has a lot of talent. And one of the things that we've found as a community college that it's really important to mine that talent. We're asking all of them to come to the table so that we can train them and shape, you know, that future. TSMC sends its 6,000 direct jobs, but TSMC doesn't work alone. It says the companies it works with will have to hire more people, too. From the Chips and Science Act, Arizona is going to be the biggest beneficiary. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not just the... Uh, the technical jobs of manufacturing semiconductors. It's all the, uh, the jobs of the suppliers as well. TSMC says that means tens of thousands of jobs, not to mention 20,000 construction jobs. But all of this is a long way away. TSMC has been building for years, and the first fabrication isn't finished yet. The third one hasn't started yet. That's a lot of time to train new workers. William Bitts, 12 News.